here and this is five ways to counter Tinker. Tinker is a very annoying hero, there's no doubt about that. Very few heroes counter him in lane and those that do it hard enough are very unusual. Broodmother is a common one in the competitive scene, but I'm aware that few of you actually play the hero. Another lane counter that is very unknown, unless you watch 7 Mad stream, is Beastmaster. This guy is a Beastmaster addict, and I'll leave his dot above link so that you guys can check some of his Beastmaster replays in case you want to understand why the hero counters Tinker. That being said, let's start with the laning phase on the 5 tips to counter this hero. For the heroes that are relatively common, Storm, Pugna and Sniper come to mind when I think on how to counter a hero in lane. None of these heroes excel greatly at dealing with Tinker in comparison to like Broodmother, but they all offer ways to shut him down later on into the game. In pubs, even well coordinated once, Tinker can end up not being ganked enough because of the support picks and getting the best lane matchup might not be enough if he's able to farm afterwards. The second tip to counter Tinker is to shut down his laning phase. As a support, if you were to gank him successfully a couple of times, warn his jungle because he will most likely try to get some stacks going and use his 5 minute shrine to get back into the game. The harder you delay Tinker's travels and blink, the easier it will be for you to take the tier 1s and tier 2s and that really helps because those towers mean gold for the supports to buy items that will be recommended in the next section of the video and if they have those items, they will die last to Tinker, and thus he won't snowball as hard. The third tip to counter Tinker is the Tinker Wards. They are located around the map and they can easily give you kill potential on one of the most elusive heroes in the game. As a support, make sure to get some of these going and if you smoke gank with your team while he pushes a different lane, you most likely will be able to spot him in your Tinker Wards if you camp it for a little while. A good trick to gank a Tinker is to not follow the lane he is right now but predict the next lane he will be in. Usually the most push lane is your best bet. The fourth tip is about items. Very often I see people building urn against Tinker with the intent of canceling his blink deck. But what you need to understand about Urn is that not only it takes one second until the first tick of damage happens, every other subsequent tick takes one second, meaning that it's very easy for Tinker to rearm and blink away. Don't get me wrong, more often than not, Urn and Spirit Vessel are great items to have, but if both of your supports are lacking items like Force Staff and Glimmer Cape, you're going to have a very tough time against Tinker. Tinker suffers with slot issues, and it will be hard for him in the mid game to carry dust around. The Force Staff forces Tinker out of his comfort zone and can maybe put him in a bad spot if you coordinate well enough with your team. Radiance is also another item that you see picked against Tinker very often, but know that if you don't have a natural gap closer like Spectre Haunt, it's also very easy for him to blink away from it since the ticks of damage are dealt every second. As a pushing item, Pipe can work wonders, and while I see a lot of people commenting on Blade Mail, any good Tinker can TP to the Fountain as soon as someone tries to use it on the March span during a push. The fifth tip is always respect the Tinker and gauge whether you're far ahead enough to push against him or dive him. In this game here, In Your Dream died 5 times, but he's still pretty wealthy. So look what happens when the PL tries to dive him on a shrine. This is another clip that showcases it perfectly. Earthshaker goes in with Echo after two of their allies are dead, and level 18 plus Tinker can easily blink out of seemingly lost situation. I'm actually surprised that Quap had no Orchid here, well I didn't recommend it on the item section since it's not every mid laner or carry or off lane that can or should buy it because they are against the Tinker, it's very common to have Orchid versus Tinker as a Quap. Because they don't, he can easily rearm, and when Tinker is that far ahead, what you want is fight him pushing waves solo, not engage on his allies, because then Tinker has vision and can get to the fight with the best positioning possible. Alright guys, this is a very short video, hope you guys enjoyed it. This video is sponsored by Pugna, they have a huge library of videos, and if you want to get more into Dota, you're going to have an amazing time there. If you want to know what's happening in my life, follow me on Twitter. Want to see some crispy casts or me playing Dota, follow me on Twitch. Curious about the new video, follow me on Instagram, where I always post some spoilers about the next video. Discord is a great place to talk with crispy people about the game that we love. And if you like the video and want to support the channel, please comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you didn't. Don't forget about ringing the bell if you're not getting the notifications. Thanks for watching guys, it's always a pleasure.